This video is in two parts. This is part two. This is the plan and elevation and section that I did in previous video. And I'm going to use this information to draw an isometric. Now one of the disadvantage of isometric is that I cannot use the base drawing of the plan or elevation to construct the isometric. In other words, I have to build this from scratch. Now the good thing is all the lines are, are in 90 degrees or orthogonal, so it's, it's not too bad. But if you have a plan that is curves or circular, it's going to be tricky. And I'll show you the difference between the isometric and the plan oblique. So the first thing you want to do is find out what orientation you want, meaning how do you want to see this plan? Do you want to see this plan this way, this way, this way? So, so this way obviously you're going to see more of this side, this, and then here you're going to see more of this. So I'm going to say I want to look at from here. So first thing you want to do is literally just draw the plan in isometric. Now remember everything in, in a parallel line drawing, whether it's isometric or a plan oblique, everything's in parallel, parallel line. So whatever axis this is, everything's going to be parallel. And everything's going to be on this axis, everything's going to be parallel. So I'm going to draw this plan. So I will literally just going to measure this out. This is in quarter inch. This is the basic shape of this. I just roughly made this plan in isometric, meaning that everything is in 120 degrees on the X and Y axis. Okay, so now I've kind of established these two axes, right? Meaning that I've established the X and Y axis. So what I'm trying to say is, here's what I have done. This is the X and Y, All right? So these are two, the two axes. So now I have elevation information, so I can just pull this down and kind of get the Z axis, which is here, All right? So this is the Z axis, which I'm just, just gonna pull right down. So this is pretty easy. We know that this is nine feet. So you can start from any corner. Right now it's a lot of lines and stuff, so this is where if, if you want to make make it clear for you, you can take out a piece of tracing paper and start to kind of like trace over and just draw the lines that you actually see <coughs> that will help you. go over this with a piece of tracing paper. Let me show you what I mean. You can start to see, here is this room right here.
how to start to build this thing in isometric. Okay, I'm gonna do a demo on plain oblique. But just to recap what isometric, the amount of time that I did this, it took me about 12 minutes, right? Just to get here. And I'm not even done, right? There's, you know, obviously there's other things if I wanna add in there, right? The, the doors, the furniture and such. Now the advantage of plan oblique is that you can use the plan as a base drawing, meaning that I can literally trace the plan underneath and build up my plan oblique. Now the first thing you're gonna do, just like an isometric, you're gonna set your orientation, right? Which way you wanna orientate. It's this way, this way, whatever way that you wanna see inside, inside the plan. So I'm gonna use the same um, orientation as the isometric. So then you can kind of get an idea what they look like and compare to both. Now in plan oblique, you can use either a 30 by 60 or a 45 degree triangle or any angle, any angle that you want. So you can use your adjustable tri triangle and to set whatever degree, All right? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use my 3060 triangle this time. Get a good comparison of the two. I am literally gonna slip this plant underneath the drawing if I can. Make it easy. I'm literally sizing this up from underneath. That looks about right. This is the time saver of plan oblique. You can now just literally just trace your plan. So that's, I just literally just trace over the plan really quickly and I'll lift it up and show you what I mean. Right, so here's all the lines. Here's what I trace. It, there's a couple ways you can do this or finish this. Since we have the in information here of the elevation, you can just draw, you can just kind of project it straight down, right? We know from previous it's nine feet. Or the other way, check this out. You can literally move your plan down where, where these two points are. Literally just move your plan to line that up. Make sure there's also, and then now you can trace it again. And they should match. Exactly, so you can literally just trace your plan all over again here. Pretty quickly, 
how the plane oblique looks like. I just kind of took a piece of tracing paper and just kind of sketch over it. Just to give you an idea what things are to look like. So just doing a quick comparison, you can see that the angle of the two, the plane oblique and isometric, it, it looks like the plane oblique, the angle is, is higher than the isometric. So, that, so that's the look of the two. But obviously, you can, you can really just tell the difference between how easy to construct this versus this. This you have to build from scratch. And this, you can literally just slip your plant underneath it and project all your lines up. This is a quick demonstration of how to construct this.